Hey folks, good morning. I want to welcome y'all to today's video. I'm back out here at uh, Woodland Air Park, the home of Angeles City Flying Club here in McGollin. If I say that right, McCollin. Beautiful day. Gonna be flying with my buddy Warner. Flying uh, an aircraft from here to uh, Lubao. So we got a little mission going on. Not just up for a joy ride. We're actually uh, taking the aircraft over there. So our buddies already uh, took off in, in the car. They'll be picking us up, up over there at the other airfield. So they got like an hour or so ride. I don't know, hour and a half ride, depending on traffic to get over there. So they went ahead and punched out. We're just waiting on the mechanics to get the aircraft out. We're going to leave here about 10.45. We'll all end up over there about the same time. Because obviously when you're flying, uh, you don't got to stop at red lights. There ain't no vehicular traffic. We're just going to take a nice easy flight over there. Beautiful day for flying. A uh, little bit of a, a wind. I don't know how many knots, folks. But it looks like everybody's getting nice smooth landings and easy takeoffs because they're going into the wind here on this here airfield hey if you're not a subscriber on my channel bottom right hand corner of your screen hit that overstay road sign get on board my train i certainly appreciate it let me come over here and check out these barbecue pits because i'm all about the barbecue i said this is an aviation video Folks, I barbecue every night, so every time I see a barbecue grill, I got to check it out. See what we got going on. Oh, yeah. That's a nice grill surface right there. In a uh, half a 55-gallon drum. Got one over here, too. Shoot, yeah. Folks, you just heck of a barbecue here. I got my eye on a smoker grill. I'm just going to let you in on a little secret. There you go, Woodland Air Park in McGollin, Pampanga, Angeles City Flying Club. I got my eye on a smoker grill. Think about pulling the trigger, folks, so I can start smoking some meat. Give the ladies uh, just a taste of smoked meat. All right, let me get my head in the game over here. But again, Angeles City Flying Club, if you are a member, you can avail all these amenities. They have a couple of rooms here for rent. So you can bring your crew out here, check into one of the rooms and watch the aircraft fly. Swim, barbecue, and just enjoy a day. And if you want to take an ultralight flight, by all means, go on that adventure, folks. All right, without further ado, uh, one more thing. They got Riot Farms uh, bags of rice here, if you're interested in that. And I should have picked up a should have picked up a small bag for the ladies, but the car's already left, and I'm certain we don't need an extra five or ten kilos on our payload for this little journey. Folks, last time we were out here, if you check my previous video, had a little Kubota combine, whatever that thing was going on, little high tech machinery and now we're back to low-tech machinery a couple of carabiles over here for a lot of folks in this country that's equivalent to a john deere tractor go to my wife's village at the sugarcane field a lot of people own carabiles and like i said that's equivalent uh, of a tractor it's very important to their livelihood All right, folks, here's the new aircraft right here. The maroon, white, and gold. Love the paint scheme on there. And Warner, you said this is a, a four- Rotax 912, four-stock engine. Okay, a Rotax- Rotax 912. Okay, 912. 912 Rotax. Rotax, and it's a four-stroke. Yeah. Awesome, folks, so if you're in aviation. It's uh, 80 horsepower. Okay, 80 horsepower on that jewel. 
gonna gonna power this aircraft all right man I, i'm digging the paint i like the paint scheme <laughs> can we take a look inside yeah that's cool. oh yeah i open here cool i hold thank you buddy <laughs> folks check out the the decor here yeah. loving those seats me i just need a pillow i cannot reach the pedals <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, so a little bit different dash than uh, the one we flew in last time, different instrumentation. And there you go. And this is the, uh, yeah, the throttle. throttle. And then there's two pedals. Two pedals. Two pedals for the brake and landing gear and ladder. There you go, and folks. And aileron. New headsets. I also. Oh, wow. Ready. Got new headsets going on. Cool. Awesome, folks. We are excited about taking this gym up. Beautiful. But we got to get this aircraft out of the way first, which is uh, mechanics will have to handle that. Folks, let me give a big shout out to my buddy Dennis, man. Uh, brother, I hope you're doing well. I know you're, I know you're doing a lot better now that uh, you're back over in Thailand. Wish I was there with you, brother, but hey, I'm handling business here. I'll either see you in Thailand or I'll see you when you get here, my friend. But I got to tell something funny Dennis said. <laughs> Dennis watched, watched my last video and he sent me a message. He said, you need to keep yourself out of them damn gliders. Folks, that's too funny. Hey man, this this, this ain't no glider, brother. This, see that big engine up there? This here is a proper flying machine, my friend. Don't worry about me. All right? He said something like, keep your damn, keep your ass out of them damn gliders. What if one of them wings snap? You got kids to raise. That's true, man. That's true. I love my babies, but uh you gotta live life, my friend. You gotta live life and you can't be scared to live life, but you cracked me up when you sent that shit. Keep your ass out of them damn gliders. <laughs> I love you, brother. Hopefully I'll see you soon, my friend. Folks, aircraft is, uh, I don't want to say easily, but one man can move the aircraft around. I folks asked him if he needed some help. He said no. Okay, Ron. Good to go. Yeah, All right, folks, while the captain does the, uh, the captain and the mechanics do the pre-flight, just take, give you one last look around here. Woodland Air Park, Angeles City Flying Club, here in Magallan, Pampanga, up in the Philippines. What a beautiful day for flying. Folks, it is a hot, hot day. The minute I walked out here onto this grass airfield, the wind stopped. I mean, look, the wind sock went down. It's hot. Before that breeze was coming through, it was all good in the hood. But the minute that breeze stops, I mean, I know you're, you're probably in the West or in Europe freezing, uh, well, just your coal, I'm trying to keep this friendly, family friendly, my language today. But it's uh, balls hot here in the Philippines. Let me just tell you like it is. It's beautiful weather, but if that wind stops, it's balls hot. If the wind is blowing, it's like a hot day in San Diego. You cannot beat it. It's one of them things where you ask, hey, you need some help? What the hell do I know about doing a pre-flight on this here aircraft? Nothing. So I just stand back, talk to this camera, let the experts do what they got to do. I'm just along for the ride.
first landing, all right. Fast landing. First landing in the new aircraft, <laughs> folks. the Roger man perfect timing My first landing. First landing in <laughs> a new plane. My first landing in that plane. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. They left prior to us. We took off at 1045, departure time, and we pulled in at the exact time. Leave it to the Swiss. My goodness. And folks, I'll just give you a quick look around. Obviously, I've done a video here before. We're at the Pradera Verde Flying Club out here in Lubao. And this is the, the ultralight hangar. So if you want to come out and fly in the ultralights, uh, the, 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 their aircraft here is uh, ready to go. I mean, just a, a beautiful flight. I mean, flying in these things is it's like a little mini roller coaster ride, but it's uh, it's awesome. You just, you gotta try it. I mean, I, what else can you say, folks? It's like going to a buffet and eating great food and trying to describe it. How do you describe a taste? Delicious, right? Delicious. How do you describe flying in ultralights? Cool, too cool. What else can you say? Uh, check out my previous video that we did out here talking about the flight school, but you know, brand new runway with the mountains in the background, it's too beautiful. And I'll just give you a quick look at these hangers if you don't take the time to watch my other video but they're planning to open a brand new flight school out here at Pradera Verde. They've already got the brand new Technom aircraft in the hangar. If you wanna see those brand new Technom aircraft, go to my previous video. I'll put that link down in the description. But everything that you're looking here is brand new. Man, those airplane in there got the new car smell. And this is going to be the restaurant and the flight school classrooms. And it's still under construction, so it's not open yet. It's still being developed. But if you want to fly in the ultralight, come on out. It's open. You can come out, take a flight, enjoy the view. What else can I say? Spectacular. Folks, you're not a subscriber on my channel. Bottom right hand corner of your screen, hit that overstay road sign. Get on board my train. It's food, beer, visas, barbecue, beautiful ladies, sometimes some bad behavior, all the time beer drinking, and sometimes doing some of that pilot stuff. <laughs> Hell yeah, life is good. Life is short. If, you're, if you are not enjoying your life, if you are not living life to its fullest, uh, folks, you're just wasting days. Shout out, shout out again to my buddy Dennis. Dennis, man, you cracked me up when he said, you need to keep your ass out of them damn gliders. <laughs> I love you, brother. But I got to push the envelope every day, man. I think the reason I've lived this long I'm only worried about living. That's the way it's got to be. Folks, another cool, unique aircraft. Now uh, that says full Lotus. But this is, uh, I guess what they call a drifter model, right? One seat right behind the other. Got a Rotax engine on it, but you can land this here aircraft on the water. 
That is too cool right there. Hmm. I'd love to do a water landing. That would be too cool. Let me just give you a look at the cockpit here. Wow, that's pretty neat right there. Experimental. Bye, my baby. I'm gonna take you on this airplane right here. We're gonna land over on Subi Bay and just uh, drive it right up in front of Treasure Island, have a couple drinks, and I'll bring you back. Just, just a quick date, baby. I might even let you get a small order of shrimp. But you gotta ride in the back. Now, I think we could put two Filipinas, maybe one on this pontoon and one on the other pontoon. So we can bring your sister and one more. <laughs> Don't worry. I know how to fly that thing. Trust me. I'm Fox Look. This is the cheese bacon burger here at Angel's Bakery, 320 pesos. Spicy amber cheese with crispy bacon. When I saw that photo, look at that. Let me just give you a gander before I cut this thing in half, preaching style. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. 320 pesos here at Angel's Bakery in Angel East City. I'm drinking me a par. Hanging out with good friends, folks. Life is good. I'm going to have to take a couple of them home to the ladies. That, wow, look at the presentation on that. How can you beat that? Now, check that out. Check that out right there on the cross section of that burger. My goodness.